What's up everyone, Pigeon here once again. I don't know why I'm opening this so late, but we have the Dragonite V-Star Premier Ball Holder Collection. I know Pokemon Go came out over a year ago, but the only reason I got this is because it was over half price in the bank holiday sale. I am living the capitalist dream and feeding the bank holiday gremlins. Yeah, so nine packs in this, Pokeball Hoarder and two promos, which I haven't got, so the promos are a bonus. Let's see if we can actually find that elusive Radiant Charizard or the Art Mewtwo. They're the only two cards I really want from the Go set. So let's crack it open and just see what we find. So first, let's just take a look at the Premier Ball deck box. Now, this is actually a lot better quality than I expected it to be. It's just basically solid plastic. Let's just try and open it. There you go. And then obviously the deck just slots in there. Pretty good. Um, I didn't realise it was going to be so big, like deck a deck box is a lot smaller than this is like this is huge which probably explains why the box was so massive and kind of unnecessary really we also have a bunch of pokemon go codes to redeem for pokemon go so if you redeem anything throughout this video whether it be a pokemon go code or a code card for a pack let me know what you get in the comments down below there is also the code card for the premium deck holder or premier deck holder whatever this product is product names are so long for pokemon and i have no idea why and then we have the Pokemon Go Dragonite V, which is very nice. Nice little stamped promo to go in the Pokemon V card binder. And then we have the Dragonite V Star, which also the yeah, a, the artwork's a bit meh for the V Star. The, the promo is a lot better artwork wise, but the stamp is also nice. Another card to go in the V Star binder. And then we have nine packs of Pokemon Go to open. Can we find a Radiant Zard? Or Alt Art Mewtwo. I, I don't want the Concordor. Concordor can go straight in the bin if we get that Alt Art Concordor. But there's the first code for Pokemon Go. And it's four from the back, isn't it? Because it's a Sword and Shield set. So we start off with Fire Energy. That's a good sign for Charizard. Candela. Lunatone. I hate that deck. Rare Candy. Slowpoke. God himself. Magikarp. Apom. Meltan. A lovely War Turtle reverse, but it's not a Charizard. And there is a Charizard, though, but it's not the one we're after. We are after the Radiant one. I've pulled this hollow one about 70 times. Right, pack two. Now, ch that Charizard, it's, it's a nice pull. It's a nice artwork, but I, I don't know. It's just kind of meh for a Charizard card. I'm saying that most Charizard cards are, are kind of meh these days. Uh, one, two, three, four from the back. If we can get a rainbow, that would be quite nice. We've had quite some luck with rainbows in this. We've had the Dragonite and the Alolan Vol... Well, no, not Alolan Volpix. What else we had? One of the gym leads. Was it Candela or was it even Spark? One of the two. We've had very successful openings on Go previously. But it's just a bit of a, a lackluster set. I was expecting more from the artwork instead of just a stamp on the side. And there could have been better collaborations. But Pack 2 has Radiant Venusaur. That is a very good pull. Not quite the Radiant we're after, but I will take a Radiant Venusaur nonetheless. And then Articuno is the Hollow. So not too bad. One Charizard Hollow and a Venusaur from two packs. And we've still got another seven to go. So we will just whiz through these. So I've got something to talk about as well. In Oh, it's four from the back. Remember that. So in a couple of weeks' time, I am going away, literally as the DLC for Scarlet and Violet releases, and literally the week before um, 151 drops. So it might be a bit of a mix match for content while I am on holiday. There might be an extra episode of the Birdlock uh, going live just to make up for a bit of a lack of content. And you might notice that there wasn't a Birdlock upload this week. That's because I uploaded my Kitakami video about the new region in Sword, in Scarlet and Violet's DLC. Um, so if you haven't seen that, click up here and check. And to go, be sure to go check it out. I'm very happy with that video. I, it took me a while to work on and edit and write the scripts. And we get Moltres in this pack, so nothing there. But yeah, it took me a while to write the script and edit it all together and get it the way I would like. And then obviously after I posted the video, there was stuff that I wanted to add in, it, but it was too late. So yeah, go watch that video. Let me know what you think of it. And are you excited for the Scarlet and Violet DLC? I am very excited for it. Swords and Shields DLC was very good. And I hope that we get something along the lines of Dynamax Adventures or some way that we can get other Pokemon or other legendaries just as a bit more easier shiny. And I know sandwiches are very easy to get shiny. But I don't know, I just hate waiting 30 minutes to breed eggs. Uh, to, I just hate waiting 30 minutes to get um, a new... Po I, I don't know what I'm saying here. My words have just completely left me. <laughs> <It's> not... 
great opening, Scott. Uh, let's just talk about the packs. Let's just talk about the packs. Completely forget what you're trying to make up in your head. Just talk about what's in front of you so you don't, your brain doesn't malfunction, Scott. That's a good start. Well, oh my God, what is happened to that pack, that card there? That is the rare in the pack, and that is absolutely brutalized. Uh, Pupitar, War Turtle, Pokestop, Bi Barrel, Spinarak, hey, P Dub Bird Gang, Ratata, Wimpod, oh, I got teased with the reverse, reverse Hollow Charizard, and then Venusaur. Venusaur, you are very battered, though, my friend. I don't think we're going to get the Radiant Charizard today. We've got a Radiant Venusaur, which we've had several times, and one has even gone off to Pokemon in a trade because he needed one. So I don't know what to do with that Radiant Venusaur. It'll probably get listed on my eBay, or do I even grade it and just sell it on to try and recoup some costs? But po uh, Pokemon Go is currently going as I expected it to, not very well. But we've still got a few more packs, so I hope we can change that. That so-so Squirtle is beautiful. Lavatar, Reverse Hollow, Buy Barrel, and we get a Mewtwo V-Star. Okay, okay, I'll take a Mewtwo V-Star. That's all right. It's not the alt art, but a V-Star is okay. And we have three more packs to go. Oh. So yeah, scheduling and other videos next weekend or the weekend after might be a bit skew with just because i'm gonna have a lot of stuff to do to get ready for 151 when i get back from my weekend away uh we have darkness energy soul rock ariados charmeleon tranquil lavatar natu what was that those went flying out slowpoke ambipom reverse hollow soul rock <laughs> and we do get a rainbow so the rainbow luck for pokemon go continues male metal v max rainbow rare that's nice and it does sparkle very very much I'm, I'm very happy they got rid of rainbow rares for the illustration rares that we have in scarlet and violet though they're just a lot better than rainbow rares in my opinion so i'm gonna have to say that this opening has been a mild success so far we do need that charizard radiant to be worth it though um so yeah but not too bad i don't think these are worth it at full price for recommended retail price at what 50 quid but I got this in the bank holiday sale for less than half of that. So I cannot complain with that. And Pheasant, Solrock, God, Wimpod, Bird Gang Bidov, Magikarp, Meltan, Reverse Hollow Charmander, and then the Pikachu. And this is it. The final pack of Pokemon Go. Will we get anything in this final pack with... There's a cheeky little Charmander smiling at us. Is that a hint towards a Radiant Charizard? It's not. It's not going to be a Radiant Charizard, but you never know. And we start off with Lightning Energy, Ivysaur, Egg Incubator, Chansey, Charmander that we saw earlier, Apom, Bulbasaur, Nummel, Alolan Raticate, Reverse Hollow Articuno. So we fail the Radiant Charizard hunt, but our final rare is... It's not the old art. So, but Conkledur V. I don't know why Conkledur was in the Go set anyway. It's not really a popular Pokemon in Pokemon Go. It is what it is, I guess. All right, let's talk about the pulls of the video. We have the Charizard Hollow, which was probably the best Hollow we got. Conkledur V, the Dragonite V promo, Dragonite V Star promo, Mewtwo V Star, Radiant Venusaur, which is very nice, and then Melmetal VX. VX. I've gone forward into a generation now. Mail Metal V Max Rainbow Rare as the hit of the video. Not a bad opening. I think I've definitely made my money back with that because Mail Metal VX will go for. I don't actually know. I'll put it up here. How much it goes for. But yeah, not a bad opening. And we got the Premier Ball as well. But if you've enjoyed the opening, please smash that like button and subscribe for more Pokemon content. Up and Pigeon, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.